Solano Sierra Club says California Forever's secret of billion dollar acquisition is nothing short of a hostile takeover. Criticizing the plan for a new city conflicts with county policy that restricts development on agricultural land. Losing prime ag land means we're losing our ability to feed ourselves. Princess Washington is the chair of the Solano Sierra Club and mayor pro tem of Sassoon City. She says over the past 30 years, the Bay Area has lost more than 217,000 acres of ag land to new development. This land we cannot get back. Washington and Fairfield Mayor Catherine Moy both called out concerns surrounding Travis Air Force Base. The threat to Travis Air Force Base, that's a big fat no. City officials say they've asked California Forever, why not make the land immediately surrounding Travis Air Force Base available to be relinquished? What's your response to that? I mean, I think that they should wait for the overall plans before um, anyone is kind of making um, making up an opinion about the project, which is what most of the electors in the area are um, doing. And we're very confident that the uses that we're going to propose um, in the new year, such as using it for solar farms, um, are going to be entirely compatible and in fact support the operations of Travis. Washington says California Forever recently learned that certain parcels northeast of Travis Air Force Base were identified as targets for the Department of Defense to acquire for their environmental protection program. But by the time the parcels were identified, their company had already acquired them. Did the Department of Defense request for those specific parcels back? No, absolutely not. And we, we, we acquired them from third party landowners. Um, so we didn't even learn about the fact that this was a priority for them from them. Uh, we learned about it from just independently talking to people in the community. And those are the very parcels that we proposed to swap to the water agency. Shramek says he would exchange around 1,400 acres of pasture land for 1,500 acres of their land that he says has the highest habitat values. But Mayor Moy says there's more to the story. Right now, in this land swap, they're trying to pass off a piece of land to the Santa County Water Agency that's now under investigation by state and by other environmental groups. Um, and that could come with fines up to $20 million. What's your response to that? That's categorically fail, false. Um, and I would ask her to present the evidence of that because that is absolutely not true.